hello hello everyone welcome to the channel in today's video I'm going to recommend to you a scale uh, that will make your homemade home or home based formulation business a success um, I've been there I've used different scale you've seen on my channel and in this video I'm going to recommend to you okay now you ask me okay you want to make money from I'm not making money from this because I'm going to send you to a website where I bought this scale and where I bought the calibration scale uh, calibration weight you're going to use to calibrate so what is the best scale for all base formulators do not buy pocket scale I mean pocket scale can be any of this please don't buy any of this a lot of them are on Amazon and you may be tempted to buy them please do not buy any of this uh, <coughs> They are they may they may be accurate to certain extent if you are lucky to even get something like this, but they are not the best. These are only for DIYs. If you make DIY product and you don't you're not really serious too much now, you're just playing around, you can use pocket scale like this. Please, this is not for cosmetic formulation. If you see any formulator using this, perhaps they're just doing a DIY project. If you are serious about cosmetic formulation, go ahead for this. Take it from me as a big sister in the business. I'm, I, I mean, I'm don't mean to be proud, I'm just telling you, as an experienced chemist that has been in the workforce for a while, um, I've told you before that I'm going to be bring, showing you my lab ingredient one at a time. I don't want to rush you all, but one at a time I'm going to show you my lab ingredient. Here is a scale called SJX1502 BioIUS and um, it's a very excellent scale. When you get it, the setup instruction is so perfect. And I can quickly go over the setup instruction with you right now, okay? This is how you're going to see from the box, okay? It's going to come from the box like this. Um, we're going to, all of these will come differently, okay? It's going to come with an adapter. It's going to come with, uh, it's not going to come with this. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that later on. It's going to come with this, which you're going to see, right? Then it's going to come with this pan, the weighing pan. How do you set it up? And it's going to come, okay, with this here at this point. Some of them might even come from the back. This, it might even be locked. So the first thing you want to do when you take it out from the box is that you unlock this side. Unlock it. Play it on a plain surface. Turn this, okay, this is shipping uh, lock, it's a safety to protect this from damage. Uh, so you turn it here to the unlock position. That's your first step. If you have this exact one, SJX1502 NE, this is the area you set it up. Then you have, I have a lot of video on setup of Scout by uh, Scout Scale by Wires. So what you're going to do now, you just put this in, in that hole okay I find it easier when I lift it up put that hand I'll set in that hole once it get into that it can be very once it get into that hole turn it this way okay you turn it this when you turn it down this way it will be locked then you're going to take the weighing pan also you put it on top of it now this is something that you need to lengthen the shelf life of your scale okay this scale can last you for a long time i mean it can last you for more than 10 years if used properly take this in-house cover i have a link in the description box below for where you can buy all this okay then take this out because you want to install the scout cover. The scout cover doesn't come with the scale. You're going to buy that separately. This is to prevent water from get, gaining access to your scale, so to make it last longer. So what you want to do is just turn this here, right, and pull it up, put your cover on it. Then we're going to put this on top of it. Put this on top of it and turn it that way. Turn it this way. Then we go. Sorry about the background noise. I'm very sorry about that. Then you're going to use a pan on top of it. You have already set it up. You are good to go. Take the adapter that comes with it. Then you're going to plug it in in the adapter slot. 
you are good to go. When you first turn it on, okay, you press this zero to turn it on. The first thing you want to do is to calibrate it. How do you calibrate it? You're going to need different scale. You're going to need different scale to calibrate this, uh, different uh, calibration mass to calibrate this scale. I'm sorry about the background noise. The children are making noise in the background. So sorry about that. So you're going to need different calibration scale and I'm going to show you now briefly how to calibrate this scale. I've done tons and tons of videos on this and this is going to be my last video on this, I promise you. And I just want each one of you to pick one thing or the other. I want you to be on, we want us to be on the same page. And especially my student also at StableCosmeticFormulas.com. I want you all to be on the same page with me, please. This video is made for the public and also for my student also. So now, the first thing you want to do is to press this down. Hold this until you see card. When you see card, you press yes. Okay, now we want to do span calibration. There are two types of calibration. So let's start one step at a time. Span calibration. Then when you see span calibration, you press yes. Yeah, you can see yes. Yes. Now it's telling me put 1,500, okay, scale on top of that. I do not have 1,500, but what I have, I have different scales, right? So I have 1,000 grams, so uh, calibration mass. Then I have... 500 from another scale set that I have. So I'm going to place that on it until you see it done. So you are good to go. So I'm going to take that back. Good. Now, we are done with span calibration. We want to do another calibration. You press the menu also until you see car. Press zero for yes. Is this span? No. So press this one for no. Is linear? Yes, press yes. Now it's telling me to put 1000 gram on it. So I'm going to put 1000 gram on it. We're going to wait until we see it done. We are now it's still telling me to put 1005 because it's linear. Linear is going to do all the complete calibration. So I'm going to put another 500 on it to make 1500 and I'm done. So please do linear and do span calibration. You can, depending on how often you use it, please do linear and do span calibration for accuracy. And that's it. Now, you ask me how many calibration weight do I need for this scale to work properly? You're going to need 1,000 kg and you're going to need 500. So if you cannot afford 1,000 kg, you can get three 500, okay? That is what you need to fully calibrate the skill. I hope you have picked one or two things from this. Uh, from my heart to yours, I'm sharing this with the public. I want you to get the best. I want you to have the best. Um, this is something that a lot of people will charge money for, but because of my passion to help people, uh, I launched this uh, YouTube channel. I hope you have picked one or two tips. If you want to learn more about cosmetic formulation, want to hear directly from the source, you, you are tired of the lies you are hearing from different sources. This is a channel you belong to, so don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. I promise this is my last video on scale for now until something else come up that I have to introduce to you. So I wish you happy formulating friend. If you want to learn cosmetic formulation, visit my training website at stablecosmeticformulas.com. That's where I teach cosmetic formulation one project at a, at a time. We do not do regular or DIY. We do retail grade cosmetic formulation. When you go to online school or different school, they teach you how you, they teach you different way to make just DIY. Whatever you learn at your online school or DIY, trust me. When you come to stablecosmeticformula.com, you're going to learn how to make retail grade beauty products. So that will take away all the guesswork from your work and. Uh, trust me you will be glad you did and you know apart from that i also mentor all my students for free i give them formulation supports so we have any whatsoever formulation question you may have this is uh, that's the website to belong to just visit there right now check out the amazing project that we have going on and you'll be glad you did so thank you so much for joining me today i will catch you in another video don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification icon 
to be notified of my next video happy formulating friends